So initially, I was like, yo, I think it's going to make me sad. But then I realized, Guti, do you know after you've had great sex, you can play this for the men, Guti, oh my God, because the erection was strong and you had amazing sex. Play it for them and it's like, shout out, it's a beautiful song to do. Because you expect sadness, but it's actually a celebration for a great sex, sex, sex session. <laughs> My roots are gospel music that was forced down my throat every Sunday because they were making seven colors. Um, jazz, that was forced because my mom was a musician. And hip hop, that was forced because there was a hip hop, my brother was a producer in, in my house. And so there was just like, I'm a nigga, Miss Baby's I'm a nigga. I was a recorder in my house. And then, um, what else? Electronic I was in the streets after I ran away from home during the phases of running away from home. <laughs> I ran because of sexual, uh, my uncle sexually harassed me. And then I was either going to kill him and I'm too cute for prison. So I was like, I'm going to be great and then I'm going to name and shame him. And then I got the, that interview that I thought was the biggest at the time. And then I named and shamed him and I realized, no, I have to actually experience it so that I can speak from an experienced person's point of view and not an observer. So then I can touch more people by being honest because I know what it was to go through. <laughs> I just want to be great and I want to I want the child like the African child to rewrite their dreams knowing that everything is possible in life. If I die today, my kids need to know that their entire existence was paid for through my dreams. And therefore if I'm not here and someone says nothing's um dreams are not possible, they'll be like lies, our school fees we live through my mom's dreams coming alive. <laughs> So my team's there all the time, they know they, they, they have to handle. Um, who else? And I just write, I always write, I always write, I'm always writing. I write, I write crazy shit, like, I'll write what the idea I have, and I'll write it into a song, and then I get over it after I sing the song. I think I like, I just love working. I work. So when I, like for instance, when I got dumped last year, no, I didn't get dumped, when we broke up last year, um, I just drowned myself in work. So I was just like, yo, I can't go through this emotion, give me work, and so I just lived at work. So I just, I, I use work. I use work for everything, happiness, joy, sadness. I just work. And the first one I can think of is leaving my baby daddy who tattooed our date of getting married someday on his arrest and I left him for my dreams because I knew it wasn't going to happen. So I left him. I came to Joburg with 500 rand suitcase and a sewing machine and I came to chase this thing. Um, but I loved him. But he was, yeah. And then another sacrifice. It's a lot. Like my children aren't with me, but I don't even feel guilty about that because society will make you feel guilty when you, eat, or you are actually instilling hard work. And if I'm not there and they see they eat ice cream in the entire, it's like, yeah, she's working. I'm in the streets making this money, making this shit pop, and they get it. I'm living my dream right now, which is global domination. It's building. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on stage one, phase two, which is international. And I mean, Beyonce is like that person I've always spoken about. In every interview where people look at me like, they're like, what's your ultimate collaboration? I'm like, Beyonce. And with conviction. And I got that interview. I mean, I got the song. And Diplo was part of my 10 year plan in my visual board. And I got him in his house, this is in my WhatsApp. Like right now, my album, in, um, there's an album in London that just came out and it's me and the gorillas. And it's doing like crazy. It came out before the Beyonce song. So my top three people in the world, I'm working with them. So I'm living my dream. Hey Boobims, Moon Charles Anneli here. Catch Grassroots on Showmax. This is always the lead.